This painting depicts a scene from a Roman legend about a 7th century BC dispute between two warring cities, Rome, and, Alba Longa, and stresses the importance of patriotism and masculine self-sacrifice for one's country. Instead of the two cities sending their armies to war, they agree to choose three men from each city, the victor in that fight will be the victorious city. From Rome, three brothers from a Roman family, the Horatii, agree to end the war by fighting three brothers from a family of Alba Longa, the Curiati. The three brothers, all of whom appear willing to sacrifice their lives for the good of Rome, are shown stretching their hands towards their father who holds their swords out for them. Of the three Horatii brothers, only one will survive the confrontation. However, it is the surviving brother Horatii who is able to kill the other three fighters from Alba Longa. He allows the three fighters to chase him, causing them to separate from each other, and then, in turn, kills each Kuriati brother. Aside from the three brothers depicted, David also represents, in the bottom right corner, a woman crying while sitting down. She is Camilla, a sister of the Horatii brothers, who is also betrothed to one of the Kuriati fighters, and thus she weeps in the realization that, whatever happens, she will lose someone she loves. Seeing her weep, the surviving brother, Publius, kills Camilla for weeping over the enemy. The principal sources for the story behind David's Oath of Horatii are, the first book of Livy, sections 24-26 which was elaborated by Dionysus in Book 3 of his Roman Antiquities. However, the moment depicted in David's painting is his own invention. It grew to be considered a paragon of neoclassical art. The painting increased David's fame, allowing him to take on his own students. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. Although it was painted nearly four years before the revolution in France, the oath of the Horatii became one of the defining images of the time. In the painting, the three brothers express their loyalty and solidarity with Rome before battle, wholly supported by their father. These are men willing to lay down their lives out of patriotic duty. With their resolute gaze and taut, outstretched limbs, they are citadels of patriotism. They are symbols of the highest virtues of Rome. Their clarity of purpose, mirrored by David's simple yet powerful use of tonal contrasts, lends the painting, and its message about the nobility of patriotic sacrifice, an electric intensity. This is all in contrast to the tender-hearted women who lie weeping and mourning, awaiting the results of the fighting. The mother and sisters are shown clothed in silken garments seemingly melting into tender expressions of sorrow. Their despair is partly due to the fact that one sister was engaged to one of the Kuriati and another is a sister of the Kuriati, married to one of the Horatii. Upon defeat of the Kuriati, the remaining Horatius journeyed home to find his sister cursing Rome over the death of her fiancé. He killed her, horrified that Rome was being cursed. Originally David had intended to depict this episode, and a drawing survives showing the surviving Horatius raising his sword, with his sister lying dead. David later decided that this subject was too gruesome a way of sending the message of public duty overcoming private feeling, but his next major painting, The Lictors Bring to Brutus the Bodies of His Sons, depicted a similar scene, Lucius Junius Brutus brooding as the bodies of his sons, whose executions for treason he had ordered, are returned home. The drama lay in the fact that one of the sisters of the Curiati, Sabina, is married to one of the Horatii, while one of the sisters of the Horatii, Camilla, is betrothed to one of the Curiati. Despite the ties between the two families, the Horatii's father exhorts his sons to fight the Curiati and they obey, despite the lamentations of the women. If you would like to support the channel please check out our Patreon. You would also enjoy exclusive benefits like customized merches, artifacts, shoutouts, and a whole lot more. Click link in the description to join the family by subscribing to a membership. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.